All right. So as a newer creator, you're probably spending more time than you care to adding things into your video descriptions during upload. You've got your affiliate links, you've got your socials, your email, maybe you have a website, a digital product or a free giveaway. There's a lot of stuff and you have a high propensity to forget to include it unless you have a good system or format to do that. So what I'm gonna show you here in the YouTube studio is an often overlooked feature that will help to automate about 90% of getting those YouTube video descriptions completely dialed in and formatted correctly the way that you want every single time. And that's gonna save you a ton of time as well. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. In the YouTube studio, if you go to add a new video, we'll just pick something generic right here. When you get into your upload screen, you'll notice that your description is completely empty and it's really on you to pull in all of those links, all of the things that I just described really. And oftentimes you can forget to include certain things here and there. So what I would recommend doing instead is coming in to your settings at the very bottom and go into upload defaults. And then in this box right here where it says description, here's where you're gonna copy in a template of the way you want your descriptions to look every single time. So here's an example template that I use for all of my videos. And by the way, I've made this document available in the description of this video. Feel free to grab it if you wanna make your own version of this and build off of it. But let's show you what happens when we copy all of this information into our upload defaults. And then we go ahead and try to upload a new video. So now let's pretend like we're gonna upload a brand new video to YouTube and we'll take a look at what pre-populates for us in the descriptions field. So you'll notice right here, this is no longer completely empty. It has everything that we want, including our subscription link to our channel. It has a free giveaway in my case for an ebook that I've created. It has parts of my description that I already want pre-included. It has a section for chapters and then other links that are relevant to me, like my consulting, affiliate links, tags, so on and so forth. So this really helps out with saving you a ton of time to make sure that you're hitting on every single thing you want in every single video description. So grab this file that's in the description below, and you'll notice once you get it, I've also included a screenshot that really describes everything that's in my description. And I'll just kind of step you guys through what I do in my description, and that way you can get a little bit of inspiration of how you can potentially make yours. So for me, at the very top, I have a subscription link to my YouTube channel. So if you're on mobile and you see my description, you can quickly click on that link and subscribe to my channel. Beneath that, I have a free ebook or a giveaway, which is essentially a lead magnet. It redirects the person clicking on it to my landing page on my website, which then captures their email and provides them the, e the free ebook. Beneath that, I have the video description. So it really just describes using as many keywords as possible what the video is about. And then beneath that, I have a section that describes what my channel purpose is and what my mission of my channel will be. Beneath that, I have a section for chapters. And I would say more often than not, most of my videos include chapters because I'm sort of stepping the user, the viewer through various points that I'm trying to make within the video. Beneath that, I have a link for my Calendly link, which is to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching or consulting session with me. Beneath that, I have a crowdfunding link through Buy Me A Coffee. Some people will use Patreon. Some people will use Buy Me A Coffee. And then beneath that, I have affiliate links for different hardware and software and books that I recommend people who are starting out on YouTube might want to check out. And then finally, towards the bottom, I have my contact information. If anyone wants to get a hold of me via email, they can grab my email right there. I have my affiliate disclaimer, and then I have my tags. Now, of course, the tags themselves, as you see in the video description here, are one of the sets of tags that I used in one of my previous videos. You will want to refresh this every single time to make sure that the tags you're using in your video uploads are relevant for the topic. So coming back to what's pre-populated, the majority of this, you won't really have to edit. You'll really just have to edit the tags, as I mentioned, and then this section here where you're wanna, gonna wanna insert the description for the video itself to make sure that you're using keywords that are relevant to the topic that you're discussing in that video. But by and large, everything else is gonna stay the same. And then of course, if you need to include chapters, you're gonna wanna make sure you're watching back your video, you're documenting exactly when the start of a next chapter is, and you're putting in that time code under that chapter section. So I hope this was helpful in just giving you a little bit of insight into how I do my descriptions on my videos. 
I think having kind of a common framework or format for all of your videos gives your channel and your videos a little bit of a slighter, I guess, sophistication and polish when it comes to the viewer's perception. It just makes you look a little more organized and a little more tidy. So that's kind of the that's kind of the aim I'm going for with all of this. But be sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you're putting in your descriptions. If there's things that I'm not including that you're putting in yours, I'd love to hear from you on that. And I hope this was helpful. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Happy holidays.